Hello, and welcome back to Skyrim, the Thane of Thanes series, with none other than Thayena, or Thayena. Well, anyway, in the lapis last episode, we had to run to Blink Four Barrels to get the stone dragon tablet for Farangard so we can become Dane of Whiterun. Now we have to go and see about a dragon attack. So let's go up here. There's no time to stand on ceremony my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, yeah, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working oh, on I'll help. So. Let me. Uh, stick my hood on. Da -da -da. I still need to sell some things. <clears throat> oh, like I said in the last episode that we did, I am going to be trying to become Thane of all the keeps in Skyrim. That's practically all of them. Uh, buying all the houses that go with every city and trying to use all the weapons and armor that we are given once we become thing. So let's go out kill a dragon. Put this away. Try and sell some stuff here. Hmm? Need something? Yes, I would like Take to. Take a look. So, sell some stuff to you. Let us see. Let's sell them. Disenchant that. Sell you. You can disenchant you, keep you, sell you, disenchant you. Sell you, sell you, scrolls, sell you, they'll come in handy for stamina, uh, books, oh. sell you, you, mm. right. That's everything. May your road lead you to warm sands. Thank you. Welcome to you. So that's a bit of money for us. 
think you need like 5,000 to buy the house. And I think it's another 11,000 to renovate it. I could be wrong, I'll have to double check. Off screen, so let's just wait an hour. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. Oh dear. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Another thing, I want to try and get a shield from each city, so... I know this is a little... What's it? I sell you. But if I can get a shield... Oh god. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. That's a striking going. Dragon fight, sort of. Here we go. Ah. Crud. Help. Help. Let me do it. Getting caught and stuff. I need to. Potion. Magic. Damn good shooting, boys. Everybody, get back. Ah. There we go. Shield. Follow one. And Fools. Uh, 
Come on. Come on. Who's gonna say it? Can I put it? Who? Oh, here he comes. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Oh, what in a who, huh? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, <clears throat> idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irleth. Tell us, do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical Dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecarl. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Okay. Yep, that's that. So, let's let's travel to White Run and finally become Thane. Look, you already have been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to. You're finally Ooh, here. Go. The Yarl's mm. been waiting for you. Okay. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed. But we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Turns out I'm called... I'm something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? When a dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these grey bears want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? 
That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Brungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. Here we go. By my right is Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. Here we go. So. Axe of Whiteland. Oh, it's a two-handed. Oh dear. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. I'm Thane. What does that mean? The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. What does a house call do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. And that's it. Let's Take the hood off. Pull out the battle axe. So yeah. We finally become Thane of Whiterun. And we got a battle axe. Normally it's just a single handed axe but Apparently the game wants us to have a giant axe. So, anyway, that is that. In the next episode, we will do the odd little jobs in Whiterun to get us some gold so we can buy the house. Old friend. Be Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. If you say so. 
as I was saying, <laughs> before I got interrupted, in the next episode we're going to be going, we'll be doing odd little jobs in Whiterun so we can buy our first property before we move on to the next city. So now we're paying, got to buy the house and then we can move on. So yeah. I don't know why it does that. Well, anyway, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, well, this is the end of the video. If you liked what you've seen, consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.